Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about dimensions. Now, just before, you, if you don't please turn it off yet, because if you're doing applied maths and you're struggling, as I'm sure most people are, I definitely struggled when I was doing it. Uh, that I, I found that the reason is your, your teacher probably isn't telling you a lot of information. They're not going into big detail because they feel you will get confused. Now, you may get confused. But I honestly believe that if you if the information is there, you get you get a feel of it, and eventually, the more times you get a feel of the information, you eventually begin to understand it. And if you're never told the information, well, then you can never understand it. So anyway, dimensions. Let's quickly talk about this because if you understand this, this will give you a very good help uh, in applied maths, especially for vectors. So we're going to talk about points, lines, areas, or planes, volumes uh, in space. So. This here is the xy plane, and as, as I said before, it's also called the Cartesian plane. So if you see or hear your, your teacher saying the word Cartesian plane, no need to panic. You know it's just the xy plane, and you've drawn probably a thousand of those. Now, what you may not have asked is, well, what does the word plane mean? If you have, well done, that's great. If you haven't, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's look into that. So first of all, dimensions. We live in three spatial dimensions. What does spatial mean? Well, that's just, it means we, we live in three dimensions in space. Okay, and you use the word spatial for that. Three spatial dimensions. Everything, like if you look at a room, you obviously have a width, a height, and a depth. Okay, so there are your three spatial dimensions. In maths, they're sometimes called X, Y, and Z. Uh, and not all ob objects occupy three dimensions. So we'll see what ones don't. So, not all occupy three dimensions. Now, uh, so a point. Well, how many dimensions does a point have? Well, that's a strange one. I'm not really going to go into a lot of detail because you could say it's actually a three-dimensional object. But in general, a, a point is defined as something having zero dimensions. Now, you might ask, well, how do you how do you, you know, how do you give the coordinates for a point? It has to live in in space somewhere. But I won't go into that. We'll just say, just for for a basic definition, that a point has zero dimensions. It lives in space somewhere, but a zero dimension, it's tiny. So that might be a point. It means you can't see width or height or depth. It has no appreciable width, height or depth. Okay, like a full stop, for example. You can't really say it's how wide, how high, or how long it is, or how deep it is. So you could say a point has no dimensions. Yeah, don't don't read too much into that one. Right. A line. A line has one dimension. In other words, a line only extends into a single dimension. So, for example, this here is a line extending in the x dimension. Okay. Now, obviously, if this line went from here to here, then it would extend into both the x and y dimensions. But we'll say a line, anyway, occupies one dimension. Now, in actual fact, if it did extend from here to here, you could move the the uh, you could move the xy plane, so it's still only it would still only be in one dimension. But anyway, a, a line occupies one dimension. You only need one of those dimensions to define it. For example, this one, you only need x. If it was facing in another another direction, you may only need y. You only need one dimension to define a line. That that's that's pretty clear here. I, I would hope. And if it's not, just give a comment on the a comment on my video. Next, a uh, what occupies two dimensions? Well, two dimensions occupy an area. An area, okay? That's also called a plane. So here I have the x and the y, and together they make a plane. Now let's let's see if we can visualize if we can visualize these. So I'm going to take a sheet of paper. Here. Just imagine that the very corner of this, the very, very, very corner, is a point. That's a point. That's the smallest thing you can possibly you can possibly see a point. It has zero dimensions. Then the next big thing is is a line. So the edge of this sheet of paper is a line. Okay, that might occupy one particular dimension. But now if, if I go into two dimensions, I need this y dimension and this x dimension, and they give me a sheet. They give you a sheet in space. Okay? Called a plane. So an area or yeah an area or is is called a plane in space it occupies a sheet you could you could you think you could think of it as, as a sheet so it occupies three dimensions 
Well, that should be quite simple. A volume occupies three dimensions. You could also say, by the way, an area. A plane is also an area. But anyway, so three dimensions occupies a volume. So here, in my, as usual, poor, poor drawing, I have drawn three spatial dimensions. Y, X, and Z. And I've drawn in this um, a volume, as, uh, I suppose a cylinder, it's not a cylinder, but I don't know, a cup. You could say that's a cup. And it occupies three dimensions. Like a, bo like a, a box. If you think you think the uh, one a particular part of the box is called a point, if you extend it along one dimension, you get a line. Then you extend it along two dimensions, you're going to get uh, a plane or an area. And then when you add the third dimension, you'll get a volume. Okay. So, just to uh, just to kind of I suppose summarize. Okay. So a point. It lives in at least one dimension. Don't get bogged down on that one. That's actually that that can be different. Anyway, so for example, x is equal to two. Where does it live? It, it lives at the point x is equal to two. Okay, a line. A line lives in one dimension. So this here, one less than or equal to x less than or equal to five. That defines a line. How do you know that? Well, because it only lives in one dimension, the x dimension, and it's going between a range of values one and five. If you were to draw that, it would give you a line. What about two dimensions? A plane or an area lives in two dimensions. Here, 1 less than x less than 5, and 4 less than y less than 7, sorry, less than or equal to, well, that will give you a plane or an area or a sheet. Okay, you know that because that lives in two dimensions, x and y. x ranges between 1 and 5, y ranges between 4 and 7, and that would give you your xy plane or your Cartesian plane. You could call it anything. You, call, you could call it your OM plane if you wanted. But people call it X and Y for some reason. And finally, a volume. A volume lives in three dimensions. Similar to the two-dimensional plane area, it, uh, it has three dimensions, X, Y, and Z, and it, uh, it occupies, in this case, between 2 and 10 for the Z, and then the exact same for the X and Y. So. Yeah, try and try and visualize it. Uh, just very quickly again, if you were to visualize the room you're sitting in at the moment, it's probably got a corner. Uh, so look at the top corner of your room, and you'll see the three dimensions as it hits the, the walls meet the roof. Okay. So if you're to pick, if you're to just look at a wall, any point on the wall gives you a point. It occupies zero dimension. If you wanted to be able to move your hand along the whole wall, well, you'd need uh, you'd need a plane. The we'll say the XY plane. And if you want to be able to move your hand everywhere uh, all around the, along both walls, or all the walls and the ceiling, well then you would need you would need a volume. And I hope that uh, I hope that gives you an insight into dimensions.